The Rat Blade is one of the best ARG series in all of YouTube. It features amazingly developed characters, a full-on story arc, and emotional black people. The first video has a whopping 3,200 views, which is actually the population of Siberia. The first scene takes place in North Korea, where we are presented with Agent 7 asking for a beer. But the thing is, is that there is no bartender nor any beer. Confused and angry, he walks away, but then he gets to see Jackal. Jackal is the main antagonist of the series, but his character arc later on in the series will show that he's more of a hero than a villain. Jackal asks kindly but firmly for the Red Blade. Being an obedient slave, Agent 7 gives him the Red Blade, but then he gets stabbed. Agent 7 forcibly collapses to the ground, but then he gets back up after remembering. Unfortunately for Jackal, Agent 70 now has a 90mm shotgun, so he interrogates Jackson asking back for the red blood. Jackal, however, being a stubborn little teenager, he runs away into the backyard. Agent 7 not only seems to suffer from dementia and PTSD, but also has a lack of an attention span. By the time Agent 7000 realized he escaped, it was too late. Agent 7 runs after him and tries to get Jackal to stop living. He shoots his goon and then he retires the Sacred Red Blade, saying he secured it twice, ultimately ending the first part of this amazing series. The Red Blade Part 2 Agent movie takes place shortly after Red Blade 1. Leaving off, Agent 7 talks to himself about how cool he is and collects a pickaxe along the way. About to go back to the stand to consume many alcohols, Agent 7 realizes that Jackal is still alive. Unfortunately for Agent 7, an ass clown comes in and rescues the slave owner and shoots Agent 7. Once again, he collapses, but he survives again. Although unfortunately for Agent 70, they are getting away at a speed of 2 miles per hour. After about 30 minutes, Agent 7 After about 30 minutes, Agent 7 screams final match where he had After about 30 minutes, Agent 7 screams final match where he then proceeds to run up after the peasants. Jackal and the ass clown were about to have intercourse where all of a sudden Agent 7 comes in and disturbs them. Extremely annoyed, Jackal runs after him, but he he then trips on grass to which he then dies and gets brutally murdered by Agent 7, where he grabs a pickaxe and starts mining him for the emeralds. Unfortunately, despite brutalizing Jackal's corpse, somehow he seems to still be alive. He gets back the Red Blade, and then they both run away. Red Blood 3 starts off with Agent 7 complimenting an Asian man. He then talks to the Asian how the weekend is funny and you don't have to deal with criminals. Now, in this point of the trilogy, there are pretty much no more viewers, only 25 of them. Unfortunately for him, the slave owner comes back and beats him up with his gun, and says he wants the Red Blade again. Despite the fact that Agent 7 can just shoot him whenever he wants, he seems to be pretty chill with him just barging into his slum. After acquiring the Red Blade, Jackal proceeds to fight Agent 7. Oh! <laughs> After that blood-clenching fight scene, he runs away. He, it looks like he's gonna come after him, but the Asian wants him to come back. Now, even though Aiden 7 says he'll get him next time, this will actually be the last installment to the Red Blade series officially. But of course, there is still more to cover. For one, there is a cam switch version of Red Blade, where Jackalson is now the anime protagonist of the video. He goes into Agent 700's house and runs away. There's also a cameraman mode, showing that there is now no longer a third person. Once again, Jackie Chan stabs Agent 7 for the seventh time- Wait, wait, Agent 7 gets stabbed seven times in the series. Oh, oh my god. G guys, this is obviously a reference to the assassination of Vladimir Putin, the president of Spain. There's also the master version, coming out just under a year later. In the remade version, there is now finally a bartender and a weird white guy telling Agent 7 what to do. Ew. There is the scene where Kamander gets an Asian to attack Agent 7, but because Agent 7 wears the sunglass, he is really cool and hot. Even though he be thick, he most likely has Dementa, as she can't figure out what's in front of her all the time. The bartender only just appears in the remastered, which makes me believe that it is stage 3 dementia. For some reason, he's the commander of Agent 7, but then Agent 7 realizes that Camder is just Jackal. Uh... This series is all good and stuff, but really the best part about this entire series is not the characters, not the anime arc, not even the very nice action, but probably the late trailers of the show. Uh, they were really cool and made me laugh. It was funny. The trailer has a lot of style to it, and it's honestly way better than the actual stuff. And I, I, I loved it.